This world is dangerous for any good people. You can tell that from the whole world. You read all the news. You know what I'm saying, right? Yes, right. Every day, I'm grateful that I'm still alive to continue my work. You're also grateful for that, Master. At least we still can work, eh? Yeah, we still continue to pray and hope. Any day I can continue, I'm grateful for that day, okay? Yes, Master. Because the truth is not easy for the people here to accept. Mm -hmm. They have been, you know, influenced by the negative force too long already. Yes. And now in our generation, the negative power left over is still there. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? In the human's DNA, in the human's thinking. Yes. It's still left in the air that you breathe. Mm -hmm. That's why it's very difficult for people still to wake up. Still, still difficult. It's like a typhoon. Mm -hmm. The aftermath, the tail of the typhoon, yes, it sometimes still causes devastation. Oh, yeah. like just uh, recently, they have reported the Idai already moved away, but even just the tail only, it still caused a lot of devastation mm, right. in New York City and all that. I it still caused a lot of damage, even though it was already winding down to a lesser degree of power. I understand. Pray every day for yes, protection. That's we what need we to. do. Yes, Master. Yeah, anything else, my love? Yes, um, there's a second question. Um, Master, the Senate Minority Leader, Mr. McConnell, originally criticized Biden's withdrawal from Afghanistan, but now he says that there is not going to be an impeachment of Biden, even though there were some politicians who called for it. Master, what is the reason for Mr. McConnell's final decision? It seems that he has changed his mind on Biden. Oh, he did that all the time. Oh. He, he plays this kind of ping pong. Oh. I'm just saying something only, okay? Okay. I don't always follow up a lot, but uh, like in the 2020 election? Yes. He was a Trump uh, kind of faithful, yeah? Mm. He, he was uh, kind of President Trump's friend. But then he kept waiting, waiting. And then everybody was against Trump. Yes. At last. Then he announced that Biden won. Oh. Just like that. At the end. And then he also uh, hit at Trump when the uh, January 6th riot happened. Yes. He said he lost against Trump. But yes. then later he did not I say, agree with the impeachment of Trump because of the 6th of January. He played ping pong like that. He, oh, he, I see. He's just trying so hard to protect his position. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to offend anybody. But he plays this kind of strategy, mm -hmm. like what the Chinese say, buta busang meaning if you don't fight with each other, then you will not recognize each other, meaning you could not recognize who is good. Oh, he plays yeah. ping pong all the time like that. I understand. Like, first, you befriend somebody, okay? Yes. And then whenever there's an opportunity, you hit him. Oh. And then after that, you defend for him or befriend him again in some situation when he needs it. Yeah? And he seems to need it. Depends on the where the wind blows. Oh, I see. Meaning the <laughs> energy at that time. Right. You know? it, he just plays like that. Hmm. That's why he's still the leader of the minority, even though the Republicans have less members in the hmm. Senate and the House, meaning he's a minority leader before he was a majority leader hmm. because Republicans were more in numbers. Yes. Now he's a minority leader. Even though minority, he still continues to be the leader. He keeps playing everybody like that. Hmm. I think he's too old. Right? He should also retire, go home. Yeah. Yes. Maybe it's not him, maybe somebody advising him at home or something. Oh. Yeah, it, it sounds very much like Chinese <laughs> <laughs> strategy. <laughs> you know, in politics and, and in war, oh. yeah, you strike when people don't expect it. And like playing good guy, bad guy at the same time. Mm. Just want to play the good guy. So everybody feels like he's good for him, for her, because at that time he defends for him. Yes. Before, when everybody also wanted to impeach, then he also went with it. Mm. And then later, it seems like he needs to defend for that person, for Biden, for example, so that he can win the hearts of others, mm. and yes. Biden as well. 
So he would never lose anybody. Yeah. That's why it is. I understand. He played the same with Chenny uh, and whoever that was in the house before. Mm. Similar. He played always the same. I don't know why. It's a boring game. You should change the tactic a little bit, you know? <laughs> I can see him like an open book. Oh, he keeps playing the same thing again. It's not so intelligent. But maybe it worked. That's why he continued to do it. Uh, people don't have self-respect. Right. Just just do it for gain and fame. Mm. That's the way I see it. That's the problem. That's why mm. uh, people always say that politics is a dirty game. Yes. In every country, there is something like that. Somebody like this and that all the time. Mm. But he should not play the same this time, even though he's so used to it with yes. the same game again. He should not, because this time is American's life lost and could be losing more if Biden continue. Yes, Master. So this is American's life at stake, an international peace at stake. It's not for him to play anymore. Right. It's real life. It's real suffering. So he better change his tactic. Otherwise, sooner or later, he will lose all the respect from others, Congress members or Senate or whatever. Mm. I don't know why people can see it like that. It's people's life at stake. It's not for him to play the good guy or just to play politics, to play ping pong anymore for his own advantage and his own fame or game. Yes, Master. My God. He's always playing the same game. Yes. Because it worked before. It may work, hmm. but it cannot work all the time. Yes. This time is serious. Right. Many Americans' lives and Africans' lives and international people's lives were already lost. And people are still stuck in a restricted country. Mm. Their lives are still in danger. And they just sit there comfortable, getting good pay, getting good uh, say respect, and just say anything stupid that he likes. That mm. is beyond stupidity. Yeah. This is denial. Playing with people's lives like that. God forbid. Yes. It's not, it's not right at all. No. Definitely not. Either he's mindless, stupid, or evil. Anyway, it's no good for the Americans that he sits there and talk, talk, talk. Yeah. Yeah? And don't care about people's lives lost. Everyone has to take consequence for his actions. Yes. Biden's actions have killed many lives already. And he still continues to support him. That's not correct. No, it's not. Just because it's for him. Too easy to play. And it's confusing because one time you beat and one time you befriend and another time you hit again. People are just kind of dizzy, confused. Yeah. So they don't know how to react. They don't know how to pay back. Understand. So because he played that kind of game. People just cannot think of what to do. But that is not correct. No. Because now it's the people's life. Americans' life. We're feeding about five million people right now. All throughout Afghanistan, the needs there are extraordinary. If the international community allows the Afghan economy to collapse, then you got 40 million people with an economic collapse, and it will be chaos. It will be famine. It will be exploitation like we've seen in the past in Afghanistan in the 1990s, what we saw in Syria, what we've seen in Yemen. When people don't have food, they have economic collapse. Terrorist organizations exploit and recruit, and you could have uh, a, the ultimate catastrophe. He's getting paid by Americans. He's a bad employee. Right. Harmful employee. Hurting people. People should fire him if he doesn't resign. Yes, Master. Shameless. Heartless. Mm. I'm sure maybe somebody advised him badly or something. Mm. If it's him, then he's really wicked. Okay? Yes, has no moral, no uh, loyalty to his own citizens, to his own country, mm. and not a good employee for his people who paid him well. Yes, Master, true. Let me try to explain a little bit more clearly. This is very difficult because this is kind of a strategy, you know? Yeah. It's subtle. That's why people don't see it. Mm. It's like this, like he tries to befriend somebody, okay? Yes. And then so that person thinks, oh, this is my friend is for me. So
so you don't have any like precaution toward that person. Yes. Yeah, you trust. And maybe you could even tell some confidential things. You you think he's your confidant. Or at least it's uh, to you, he's harmless, okay? Yes. And then when the opportunity knocks, he hits you. Oh. And then when that person is even in the position of leader, then other people follow suit because they trust him. Yes. yes. Also respect for the leader, so they follow suit. Then the person who's being hit... It's now kind of almost like isolated. Yes. And then this person comes back to him, like for a rescue. Oh, I see. So, so whoever that is, is in his hands. Mm. Yeah, feel like powerless. Right. Feel like dependent on him, confused, and don't know how to like uh, fight back. Yeah? Yes. That's what it is. He keeps playing that all the time. Confusing. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and making people... So like they don't know how to deal with him. Understand? Yeah, and it sounds even like he's a very, uh, how to say, fair person. Yeah. It's not like that. I see. It's not fair when you hit somebody when it wasn't necessary and unfairly. Right. And then it's not right when you defend for somebody when he's wrong. Yes. Yeah. Like for this case, like Mr. Biden. Right. He harmed the Americans by letting the immigrants, or in French they say, number of the key, means it doesn't matter who. Just let them in, catch and let go, catch and let go. Catch means register and just go. Go anywhere. You see? Yes, It is the most terrific thing I've ever seen. Right now, as we're speaking, there are 10,503 people under that bridge. It is packed in as a mass of humanity, and, and, and it is, the, the scope of it, they take your breath away because it just goes on and on and on. Infants, little children, people struggling enormously. Can you explain to me with the vaccine mandates that Joe Biden is placing on the American people, how is it possible that Democrats rejected the plan to mandate vaccines for illegal immigrants? They're not even testing them. You showed us the overcrowded yep. cages in the middle of a pandemic. We know the high rate of COVID positivity. Then they're dispersed throughout the country. Uh, how many Americans get sick and die that we will never know about because of the, what, these open borders? The answer is simple, that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are absolute hypocrites. Those 10,000 people there, do you know how many Border Patrol has tested? Zero, not a one. They don't have the capacity to do that. And 700 people has grown to 10,500 because the word has gone out. If you're from Haiti, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have said, we have open borders, come to Del Rio and they will let you in. Everyone under that bridge is turning themselves in, and it's a political decision that Joe Biden could end tonight. This is very much the same push that we had in 2019, and in about three months, the administration at the time was able to put policies in place that stemmed that flow, that, that kept people from trying to enter the country at these dramatic numbers. Uh, well, with the new administration coming in and the, and the release, of uh, those policies, the reversal of those policies, uh, people have seen that as an open door. There's really no monitoring. We're seeing a new era where our country is facilitating illegal immigration into this country. They, they arrested 7,000 illegal aliens just in one day yesterday. There are 800 children were arrested yesterday. There's 14,000 in custody of the Border Patrol right now. Well, just to give you an idea of how bad it's getting down here, the city of McAllen has declared a local disaster and they are not happy with the federal government. The city says the federal government has just been dumping uh, illegal immigrants in downtown McAllen and they can't handle it anymore. There's a risk of hundreds of migrants being left out on the streets of McAllen. So they had to build this compound to help house some of these people. Texas Border Patrol agents releasing more than 1,500 migrants 
who tested positive for COVID in the McAllen in just the past week alone. The local police say the federal government is still releasing COVID positive migrants into the United States. This stems from the Biden administration's refusal to enforce immigration laws and allow illegal immigrants with COVID-19 to enter our country. It seems that people are becoming numb to what's going on down here on the border. Um, not everyone we encounter, we test only those uh, exhibiting some type of symptoms and not everybody has symptoms that has it. And, and we're releasing people out the door uh, day in, day out with, uh, with actual uh, positive tests for COVID and, and more just keep popping up. And then make the pandemic worse because they brought it from every different country. Correct. Yeah. Those countries who are not very strict with the COVID, uh, you know, regulations or vaccines. Yes. 